Wow. Congratulations, makers. You guys look awesome. We cannot believe you did this in two hours. Now let's bring our judges, Simon and Dana, in to stroke your alter egos. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow. Doesn't everybody look great? Yeah, they do. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Let's kick it off. Lily and Rebecca, Ready? come on up. Right, <laughs> right. The llama Left. mamas. Left. Left. Right. Oh, my God. Is someone going to have to strike the piñata? <laughs> wow. I'll come hold your stick while okay. you tell us all about it. Our piñata is called Lil Becca. <laughs> Lil Becca. And it's because these mamas are a llama fun. We're a llama fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're having too much fun with this one. We are. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Ah! Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> we have straws that we cut up into confetti. We have pool noodles that we cut up into little rolls of candy and wrapped them with cellophane. Oh my gosh. Little chocolate balls with tin foil wrapped around them. All the stuff that would come flying out of a pinata when you whack it open. And I commend you for not only collaborating, <laughs> but actually getting into the same costumes. Yeah. The execution of this is beyond, and I know somebody's gonna be a pinata for Halloween. Yeah. That would be fun at a party to be two parts of a pinata and yeah. then come together and let people whack you occasionally. <laughs> could I, um, could I ask a question of some of the turn off my motor? Sorry, I, I, I can't hear. I can't hear what you guys are saying and it sounds really good. <laughs> Matt can't hear anything because his motor. Whoa. Oh, there's a little black switch. There you go. <laughs> okay, thank you. Matt and Egan. Our costumes, of course, were robots, but we gave me a brain and him a heart, so the costumes have to go together to form a fully functioning kind of humanish robot. It's original faux show. <laughs> There's a playfulness to it, an easiness to it. I love your hairdo made out of conduit <laughs> with a tennis ball in the middle. Thank you. It's particularly enchanting. Oh, appreciate it. Nice okay. job, guys. Amazing work. Thanks, guys. Floyd and Ashley. <laughs> Cute. We both saw fit to make something that we work with. <laughs> and so she's the blades to my jigsaw. Is that all wood that's on your phone? Yeah, so this one okay. maybe it's like under 10 pounds. That's got some wood pieces on it. Yeah, it's on got the a wood on the top, but it's like under 10 pounds. It's wow. you know, I can dance in it. Or... <laughs> you can do certain jigs. Yeah. <laughs> So what, what items did you guys use out of the five? We used the little foam brushes as my shoulder pads, as you can see. It's a functional comfort device. I'm not sure if that qualifies. <laughs> and then we got the foil holding on the, the bottom plate, as well as the cardboard tubes that connect between the structural part of the base. You gave us originality and wow factor, and it's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, back. Oh, oh OK. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse and Justine, come on up. <laughs> All right. We're walk and roll. <laughs> wow. He loves the name. I love those little soy sauce bags. Those are awesome. Yeah, the handles are like the spilling oh, soy. Oh, those little sachets. Mm -hmm. This is another uh, edible treat. That Nick. I can't eat. <laughs> <laughs> the finesse level is yeah. great. That shrimp made out of a sponge is so cool. And the yarn for the noodles? It looks pretty cool and realistic. You recycle the materials brilliantly. If you arrived at my soiree, I would be more than delighted. Super original. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job. OK, judges, which pair of makers will be the guests of honor at Simon and Dana's Halloween soiree? For this Foster Craft Challenge, the winner is Jesse and Justine. Oh! Rock and roll! Rock and roll, guys! Congratulations! Come and get your patch! It went well! Yay! A little patch oh, that's been separated into two. Oh. Just seeing everything transform from sponges and normal everyday materials was really cool. <laughs> Wait, I that was not good. I knew better. <laughs>